What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe. We're fishing, but not for fish. What are we doing, sir? Look at here. <laughs> we broke out the uh, old salties. <laughs> Look right there. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Oh, I'm fishing down here. I saw something moving over here. And he's over here. I didn't even see him grab a rod and he yells, Fish on! <laughs> Dude, that's a stuff. <laughs> Let me get the gaff. First, first cast, too. Making YouTube videos. coming for you did you no oh right, here you go mr joey thank you i've never grabbed one of these Don't before drop him. ride the lightning Hi. what's up everybody blue gabe we got a jail right over our our right shoulder we got joey vt walking with one of my favorite rods i just snagged a huge male iguana today we woke up we had to go to gray's taxidermist to pick up jake's huge 30 inch trout that we caught up in Jacksonville with my buddy Tugboat Trash on Instagram. You know what, today's just one of those days we're gonna go vlog style. We're iguana fishing now. We're headed down towards the Keys. We're gonna fish a freshwater canal that I fished years ago. We've got shiners, we got my pro drive boat. We don't know what we're doing, but we're gonna end up at Nick Stanzik's house. Captain Nick Stanzik and his beautiful wife, Sarah. Kelly's really close with her. Hey, they're just an awesome family. We've got one big iguana to cook now. There's no telling what's going to end up on the grill, but I guarantee it's going to be fun and y'all are coming along with us. Oh, that's him. Got him on. On, 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 on. Yes! Got him on! <laughs> Dang it, Gabe! <laughs> How do they not know there's a car there? Are you like, sure? That is a car, right? All right, things just got crazy weird. We're down south where there's all kinds of exotic foods, all kinds of exotic creatures in these waters. Well, right over there, there's something that's not exotic. Well, we haven't figured out what make them out of. It could be exotic too, we don't know yet, but there's a car in the water under that tree right there. There was a turtle just sitting on it a second ago, but right under that tree is a fairly new car. There's barely even algae growing on it. So I think we need to go back to the truck and call 911 because surely there's not just random cars floating. Obviously there's something to do with why it's in there. We need to figure it out. Hi, um, we would like to report a vehicle that we found sunk in a canal. Yeah, let me get you to dispatch the and speak to an officer. One okay. moment. Okay, thank you very much. Broward County Regional Communications, may I help you? Hi, uh, this is Joe Von Thron. I just found a sunken vehicle in a canal here on uh, near next to a McDonald's on 1490 Northwest 31 Avenue. Uh, it looks like it hasn't been in the water that long, and I assume that if it hasn't okay. been reported, we ought to tell you guys about it. Right. Okay, that's fine. Just give me the address one more time. Uh, 1490 Northwest 31 Avenue. I'm sorry. What city are you in? Pompano Beach. That is correct. All right, John. So tell me exactly what happened. Um, okay, so we are on the on the east east side of the east side of the, uh, east side of the McDonald's on the east side of the canal that's right up next to the drive-through there, and we're walking down, checking out uh, the fish and the iguanas, and on the far side of the canal we found a white, uh, looks like a you know a sedan vehicle underwater. 
and it doesn't have any algae or anything on it so it looks like it's kind of fresh i guess oh okay i'm sorry you're breaking up back another wind you said that you see it um underwater and what else we were walking down and we just we saw the vehicle underwater that, that's it it's we can't see the license plate or anything we can't access the other side because it's completely fenced off so it's just a white vehicle oh. We cannot tell. It's too far submerged for us to see anything. We can't see the model. We can't. We can only. We only know that's white, and it's not very big. Okay, John. I do have the call, please. I have the fire department and the police responding just to make sure that everything is good. Right, let you go now. Help is on the way. If anything forces in any way, just call us back immediately for further instructions. Okay. Okay. Fire department just got here. They're going to check this situation out, but we can't be filming all this. It's professional. We're not just some goofy YouTuber. and lights and trucks. What cars? The police cars. The police cars and the fire the engines. The crazy thing to us is we don't know how it got in the water because there's no tire tracks and stuff. So that, that's the really weird thing. It didn't just fall out of the sky there. So now that's what they're trying to figure out and if there is somebody inside of it. Hey, so that kid that just pulled up, he was on the phone, he's like, yeah, I was talking to my mama. He said there's someone missing in Broward County in the conference with you. I so badly want to swim over there and look inside that car, but I think it would nearly really scarve me uh -huh. no, no, no. if there was somebody in there. The cops now are backing off because now it's not a recovery, it's a crime scene. So they got to figure out what exactly happened in Unfortunately, find out if there is somebody in there. Yeah. Hey, boss. We're gonna have to ask him. Okay. To film it. Come yeah. over here. Let's Come right there. We gotta get you on film real quick. Why? Come here. I wanna show you something. You gotta get me on film, man. You can't do that. Yeah, but it's fun. No, no, no. It's nothing like. <laughs> What's Are going? you into eating weird stuff? No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's what I do for a living. Let me see what I'm doing. Look at it. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> Like one of those. <laughs> well, would you eat it? Oh, no. My biggest video ever is eating one of these bad boys. For real? That's why he's going on ice and he's going to the Keys with us. Wow. They taste like crab. Yeah. For real? Mm -hmm. I thought by now he would already be like coma. Yeah. Wow. He's enjoying it. So what? There. What now happens with this situation? Well, it, we don't have. There's a body in the car. That's what's going on. Yeah. they sent for the dive team. Right, so you're gonna come and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If there's no body in it, then they're gonna put it off the water. Will that be today? Oh. I know one thing. If you get what town are we in? Pompano Beach. We're in Pompano. If you get hurt in Pompano and call 911, they bring the world in like <laughs> that's eight. Everybody. That, that's how we do it. In yeah. <laughs> Literally, we made the call, and I step out and hear fire trucks, ambulances, oh, yeah. polices. Uh -huh. polices, police, police, <laughs> everything else oh. coming. So we're putting him back on ice. Yep. Oh. All right, it's been about an hour and a half. The dive team just showed up. The big tow truck just showed up. And now, this whole time, I've been wanting to swim over there because I have my dive gear, but there seriously could be a body in there. There is a missing person in this area that their car's missing too. So we're just gonna sit here and watch and film and show you all what's about to go down.
All right, so the diver's going in. It's all or nothing now, look. I would not want to be him right now. Look at that guy, look at his dry suit. So they're just going to start pulling the car up now.
there's any fish stuck in it. All right, so all the sheriffs are just to the right of the car where they pulled it out. They confirmed there's no body in the car, thankfully, which none of us wanted to see that. Hopefully you didn't want to see it either, even though, wink, wink, it probably would have been really crazy to witness. Right now, we've got an iguana in the truck. We're headed to the Keys with Captain Nick Stanzik and Sarah Stanzik, as I said earlier. Got Joey, have you ever met Nick? No, I haven't, I'm excited. Meet the goat of charter fishing. The goat of charter fishing. Don't give Nick a big head. Yeah, he's, he's good. He's already got a big mustache. You're gonna give him a big head too. <laughs> hey, babe. Anyhow, it's blinking right. simultaneously we had a phone call and a battery go dead. So anyhow, like we were saying, we're headed down to Nick's. We might stop, try to catch a couple of peacocks. But how cool is this? Never would I have I ever thought that we were gonna see his car. Now look, now my drone battery's dying. Hey. <laughs> We're getting back in the truck. Don't go anywhere. Hey, real, we got a lot of good footage left. Go we ahead. got the case number two, so possibly maybe in this video, maybe in a video following, might be able to get a follow up on why this car was ditched or whose car was, or probably it's, my guess is probably a stolen car, but potential update. Well, um, here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, nice and gentle, Cap. Watch the feet. 